Hi guys! It has recently been announced that one of my favorite comedies on TV has been renewed for fourth and unfortunately final season. That show is Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. It's a musical, comedy, dramedy, whatever, on the CW, and it's one of the lowest rated shows on television, but y'all are sleeping on it. It is so funny, irreverent, really smart, and did I mention it's a musical? What's not to like about that? So I thought today I would pay tribute to one of my favorite TV shows by inducting it into my nerdy well of things. This is Sorted. Crazy ex-girlfriend. Now if you don't know how sort of works, I take 10 random characters from any given show, movie, fandom, video game, whatever, and sort them into Hogwarts houses. It's fun and it's really nerdy. My brand, essentially. First we have the character that is the catalyst of the entire plot of the show, Josh Chan. First looking at Josh, I would immediately think Gryffindor. He's athletic, he it can be very brave at times, and he he seems to have a sense of morality and justice that a lot of Gryffindors do. However, getting to know the character, I think I see him a little bit differently. He's extremely loyal. He wants to make other people happy above any, anything else. And I think he is really averse to confrontation and upsetting people. So for those reasons, I'm going to be putting Josh Chan into Hufflepuff. Next we have Josh Wilson, or White Josh, or Why Joe. <laughs> he is definitely one of the most straightforward and honest, and if you really kind of think about it, intelligent characters on the show. White Josh is very athletic, but he's also brave and it can be a little hot-headed. So for those reasons, I'm going to be putting White Josh into Gryffindor. Next is Rebecca Bunch. Rebecca is the star of the show, and in one of the episodes she even says what house she's in, though it's contested immediately by a character that she's talking to. Rebecca, I immediately thought maybe Slytherin because she is very manipulative. However, she is manipulative to get herself out of corners. She's not manipulative really in an ambitious way. She just becomes manipulative because she's backed into a corner. What we do know about Rebecca is that she's very internal. She internalizes a lot. She thinks about everything and it's kind of crazy. Sorry, that's a pejorative term. Excuse me. She internalizes a lot of her emotions and a lot of them are expressed in creative ways through most notably musical numbers. So we know that she's internal, we know that she's creative, and we know that she is very intelligent. She has gone to law school, she's gone to Ivy League universities, so we know that she is very intelligent. And so I'm actually going to agree with Rebecca and put Rebecca into Ravenclaw. Next is Valencia Perez. Valencia is one of the most driven characters in the show. She has clear goals and she wants to set and achieve those goals. She's very determined and she doesn't really care that much about what other people think. She has a very specific vision and she wants to achieve that very specific vision, other factors be darned. So for those reasons, I'm going to be putting Valencia into Slytherin. Next is Heather Davis. Heather is also one of my favorite characters, but let's be honest, pretty much all of them are my favorite characters. I can't really choose. Anyway, Heather is a tiny bit hard because she's so unscrupulous. Heather is so funny and very witty and in a offbeat kind of way. We also know that she is very creative and that she is very talented and that she is also very smart. So the only house I can really put Heather in is Ravenclaw. Next is Greg Serrano. Greg isn't so ambitious in that he has like specific 
huge goals that he wants to achieve and will do anything no matter what to achieve them and he's not very self-preserving but he is kind of selfish and I just feel like the place that Greg needs to be is in Slytherin. Next is Paula Proctor. Paula I am divided on. Part of me wants to say Slytherin because she can also be very manipulative but she's very emotional. She is willing to stand up for people. So I think ultimately I'm going to put Paula into Gryffindor. Next is Nathaniel Plimpton. This one's really easy. <laughs> he is goal oriented. He's ambitious. He's cunning. He likes to work around the rules in order to uh, get to his own goals and to his own means and he can also be a little manipulative so I'm gonna be putting Nathaniel into Slytherin. Next we have Daryl Whitefeather. Daryl's also kind of easy for me. Though Daryl is undoubtedly smart, he is the most friendly character in the show by far. He is loyal to a fault and just wants to make everybody around him happy. So for those reasons, I'm going to be putting Daryl into Hufflepuff. Lastly, we have Trent Maddock. I don't know if I love anything as much as I love Trent. This one was really hard because, yeah, he's malicious, but in a nice sort of way, if that makes any sense. He doesn't seem like a bad person, but he does really bad things. And I guess ultimately, yeah, he is a bad person. It's weird. Trent is weird. But what I will say about Trent is that he is driven. He has goals and he will stop at nothing to achieve those goals. So I'm going to be putting Trent into Slytherin. That's my take on just 10 characters from Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. It's definitely one of my favorite shows on TV and you need to watch it because it's so funny and hilarious and I just want to share my love with it to other people and I don't know anybody else who watches the show. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and consider becoming a Patreon if you so choose. Any little bit helps and thank you so much to the people who have donated. And I guess I'll uh, see you guys next week with another assorted video. Yeah, because I missed a sorted video in February, I decided to make it up in April. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye! Mwah!